based off of three key charts, I believe that in 2023, in quarter one, we are going to start to pump. And by the end, but it's just going to be a lead up pump. So quarter one will be a pump and it'll be exciting, but it's not what is set on the horizon to come quarter two. I believe April, May, June is going to be explosive, leading to an overall top in the market for a bit and a drawdown this summer. And then coming back August, September, October, we're going to start our lead up again into an explosive November and December of this year. And what I believe is I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. It's just my opinion and what I'm trading based off of. I believe this year we will hit new all-time highs for some select cryptocurrencies as well as potentially even Bitcoin could hit a new all-time high this year. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. My name's Rob from Stargate and we're going to dive into some key charts today. Leave a comment too. I'm going to be busting out videos all over the weekend here. I'm catching up, catching up a lot of things, but also there's a lot of things going on that's very exciting and some new key facts in the charts. So I want to make sure I'm sharing them all with you guys. So this weekend, I'm going to be busting out a lot of crypto market updates, certain specific cryptos as well too. We'll cover it. We'll get into certain ones. So leave a comment below which ones you want me to cover this weekend. I promise you I will cover it. So Also, one other thing, in the Discord, I'll put the link in the bio, come join. We made an announcement because we've gotten a huge influx of people over just this week alone, and we already have a huge influx of current VIP members. So this Monday, we are bringing down the gate and we're closing it off until further notice so we can properly give our members, our new ones and our current ones, the white glove treatment. We don't want to oversaturate ourselves. We want to make sure that, hey, we bring in a bunch of people and we make sure they're situated. And before opening up the doors again, we want to make sure everybody's all set. They know the game plan. They know how to operate and make these gains. So that's why we're closing off the gate until further notice. So if you're been on the edge, I mean, you've seen the proof of gains. I mean, every other day we're sharing one coin that has doubled. I mean, Velo, Floki, we got Filecoin and it's going up even more. We pulled a quick 20% on Filecoin back into XCN. XCN got close to doubling and it's about to make another move as well again. There's so many, so many proof of gains, proof of receipts. And it's not just us, the, the Stargate team, it's our members as well too. So we're happy to share this journey with you guys. So hopefully if you've been on the edge, This little message right here will get you to bite the bullet and make the best decision before leading up to what I'm going to show you in this video. So just wanted to cover that. And now let's dive into it. So we're going to be covering the weekly chart, USDT plus USDC market caps versus the total crypto market cap. And this is the chart that we've been, we have like three key charts we've been watching as far as is the bottom in. When can we know when the top is in? These are consistently going to be the three charts that we watch and we're going to first dive into that first one over here so jumping right into it i'm going to go on the weekly chart and we're going to look at it from a high level so back here was the point literally december 2020 all it took was a little bit of that and we got the bull market that and this kind of sideways action was the bull market of 2021 as soon as we popped up it was over it was over And then we came down here in July to August, September, October. And this coming down in this chart was the second kind of run up to put in our double top. Then we had all this action right here from the beginning, from the end of 2022, I'm sorry, 2021 to the middle of 2022. And that was our whole kind of overall bear market there. Then we kind of just range went sideways and there was times where other coins went lower than others. Some kind of stood ground and held strength. But ultimately, every single time we go down and this chart leads to bull markets and we're looking eerily similar to back here. And what is the momentum doing? It is heading down. We have the blue on top over the pink, which means I mean, we can look to the past and we have when we have the blue on top over the pink, 
the the market's rallying. Blue on top over the pink, the market's rallying. And the pink's above the blue, market's tanking. Pink's above the blue, market's tanking. Time and time again, this has rang true. So as we're seeing right now, we have the stars aligned as far as this chart with the blue over the pink, as well as with the momentum still down here, still down over here with the TSI and MACD. The TSI is about to cross through the zero line. When's the last time it crossed through the zero line? Right here in January, or no, I'm sorry, right here was the official time at the end of December 2020 to January 2021. And we know what happened after three months, J just three months. And we had a huge market explosion. Even back here when the TSI went below the zero line, that was our little double top when we came from like 35K all the way back up to 60K again with Bitcoin. So us being below the zero line is absolutely huge. And we're below the RSI. So we're in the same type of environment of back here, which was a bull market. And then we had this down here, this over here. So that was a bull market. And then this right here, this right here, this right here. That was a mini kind of bull market. We're still in the bull market making another double top. And other altcoins still went up higher in multiples. Then now for the first time since back then in November 2021, we are officially below and about to be below, below. And then this is on top. This was on top. This was on top. We have all the same key things that showed us in the past 2021, 2022, and even back before when we were in a bull market and when we're when we were in a bear market and right now it is looking very promising as far as this is going to continue lower which means we have way more upside so check one for chart one now let's go to bitcoin versus the nasdaq 100 we're on the weekly chart we are about to see the tsi cross through the zero line we are crossing down with the MACD. We're losing momentum, but we just got another dark green print come in. Stock RSI is up here where we want it to. Pink is above the blue. When were the last times when the pink's above the blue on the weekly chart? When we're in the bull market, when we're rallying in price. What about when the blue's above the pink, when we're tanking? Now let me even go to a higher time frame, two-week chart. Because on the two-week chart, we just flashed a buy now. When did a buy now flash in on the two-week chart before? at the 2015 bottom. So this is more signs to us that we are seeing the market bottom come in. Also, we just got to be mindful of a kind of little flash crash fake out to pulling back up. Because after this buy now, we did have a flash crash fake out and then went up. So same, similar kind of thing. And we have not yet crossed the pink above the blue so, and when we cross the pink above the blue here, that's when it was set in stone on the two week chart. So what I would like to see is in eight days, if we can get this pink to cross out of the blue, we can kind of cross that, that fake out scenario breakdown off the list. And we can say, Hey, we're not going to get that. But for the moment, it's still a possibility. So we do got to keep that on the radar, but we won't be shook because we'll know, Hey, everything else is showing us that we're, we're heading back into a bull market. If there is this type of scenario, it'll be a perfectly timed event to shake the market out one last time to then go on that hyper boom rally. So either way, I'm cool with it because if we get a chance, to, I don't know if they're going to give us a chance. It would be too nice. It would be too good. So that's one thing that is making me see, make me feel like they won't give us that chance, but there's always that possibility. So we're seeing that three week chart. Also as well too, once we see this three week buy now flash, we know it's game on and it's over. So we're we're gonna get it currently right now. If we were to sit where we're at currently in 15 days, we would have all the parameters that would give us that blue, vertical blue buy now. Keep in mind, buy now at the bottom, sell now at the top, sell now at the top. It's looking like a buy now at the bottom. This didn't have one, but on the two week chart or 10 day, 12 day, some of those higher time frames was still a little bit lower we're flashing buy now signals. So we still had them here, sell. So buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, buy, buy. So this one had a little more fake outs in it, but that's why we always look at multiple higher time frames and trend lines to get a better sense. And right now it is showing us that, hey, this three week buy now is something that led us to a hyper boom.
legit a hype boom. So us crossing on the TSI right here, and then very close to the zero line to cross back up above. I mean, the last time we saw a three week cross on the TSI was back here at the top in May of 2021. When we got across up, the last time of the year was August of 2020, right before we shot up a ton. When we had a cross down right here, it was the top in 2019. When we crossed up right here, it was the bottom in 2019. When we crossed down, it was the bull market top 2017. Three-week crosses are not in a mess with. I'm telling you. It, and you can see the facts right there. So it's no surprise that in 15 days here, if this gets the vertical blue by now, bottom is in and we can move very fast. And that's why I have my prediction as far as these next four to five months here. And just overall this year, uh, a lot of people are still thinking prices are going to go down. It could be the case depending on if a outside event were to happen, but we'll be prepped for that. In the meantime, we got to take the market at hand. We're not just going to sit out over maybe scenario. So we'll have to, we're going to be on top of it. So this is huge, and this is another check for chart number two. Now, if we look at the NASDAQ versus Bitcoin, we want this chart to go down because that would be bullish for Bitcoin. So same chart as this, we want it to go up. It's Bitcoin against the NASDAQ 100, but this is like the inverse perspective. And we've been talking about how every time we do a low rising kind of channel like this, and then we break down from the bottom, we go on our Bitcoin bull markets. So... This is a bear market, bear market, bull market, bear market, bull market, bear market, mini bull market, bear market, bull market, bear market, right? We're on the precipice of really kind of cementing this in stone as far as bull market. So we're, that's another check in the bucket. And we're on the weekly chart. And this TSI is ready to cross right down through that zero line. Stock RSI has no momentum. The blue's above the pink. Last time we seen the blue above the pink was... No, I'm sorry. We need to see... Yeah, the blue was above the pink back here where this was late October, uh, around September. Market did have a mini pump, but blue above the pink right here. Bull market, blue above the pink right here. Bull market, blue above the pink right here, massive bull market. If we go to a two-week chart, we could probably see it even better as far as right when the blue gets above the pink here, we we go into our mega bull market. Blue above the pink, mega bull market. When the pink crosses the blue, we go into our bear market. Right now, we're about to see the blue cross above the pink on the three-week chart. We do see the TSI has crossed down. The last time we crossed even on the TSI in general, was here in May of 2021, which was the bull market top. Now we're seeing it cross here, and we're going to see the blue get above the pink. This is the bear market bottom, and in six days, we could see that to be the case even more set in stone. There's so many things as far as even just these three charts that are showing us that the bull market is back on, and we're in the early stages of it, and the bear market has ended, and that we're in a disbelief phase. So these three charts lay it out, but I'm going to go even deeper and go to the total crypto market cap. Right now we're rallying higher. Let me go and on the lower time frame on the daily chart, we're seeing the TSI cross up, stock RSI cross up, pinks above the blue, MACD's green, and we're getting ready to kind of break this downtrend in the RSI where if we can get above this level right here, hold that support. It's looking pretty good. So 1.068 trillion and then really getting above 1.3 trillion is the ultimate key level right there. That would be very nice as far as we're reclaiming an area that, which was critical back here of support, 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 resistance, resistance. And if we can get above there, then it's looking very, very well as far as yeah, now everybody at that point is probably saying the bull market's back on. Now let's go to the total three. So it's everything besides Bitcoin and Ethereum. If we go to the three-week chart. So we have three week prepared to buy soon. And in 15 days here, it does look like if we can continue up here, we're going to get this. We already have the stock RSI cross up, but we'll, we'll get the MACD and the TSI. And that will be huge news. The sell nows that came in here called the tops. If we go to the two-week chart. So two week chart, we're getting a buy now signal flash as we speak, but we got to wait for eight days and 14 hours for confirmation. The sell nows hit the tops. MACD's crossed up. TSI 
pink is getting ready to gear up going over the blue when that happened back here pink geared up going over the blue bear market was over and we went pink over the blue mini bear, uh, mini bull market pink over the blue bull market so us seeing that the tops were called here with the two week stargate signals and this one coming in in eight days this is just the beginning and we still have this headed up vertical now let's go to the 12 day chart because 12 day chart we already got the confirmation of the buy now let's go to the 10 day chart 10 day chart we did as well too this said to buy the bottom right here before we popped up and went into a mini kind of bull run said to sell the exact top sell the exact top by the exact bottom here and we're about ready to well, the tsi is already crossed but it's about to start heading vertical macd's dark green and we have the stock rsi up rsi is about to get through the 50 line which served as a support point back here to kind of save the market from tanking at this point gave us a little run up and then when, once we kind of flirted with the 50 line here on the rsi and broke below decisively that was the really kind of bear market set in stone we have the buy now we have the buy now signal and it's looking like we're going to start making higher highs from these points down here we already broke the trend line coming down like that and actually confirmed a candle as support basically like if in one day once this closes this will confirm it as support and the pink's ready to cross above the blue once the blue cross above the pink we slammed down once the pink crossed above the blue we went up when pink didn't cross above the blue here it maintained so that's why we rallied again until decisively we broke down same type of stuff here so we're at this point where we're gonna see a little market pumpy pump and it's gonna be fun so let's go to the dollar so the dollar, what I believe is we're going to open up on Monday here, and I think we're going to see it fall. So if we go to the 10 day chart and look at this, we still have, you know, we're still having the momentum bearish, but we're trying to reclaim. I don't think we're going to, if we go to the six day chart, stock our size pulling up here, the blues here, but we've seen that type of action back here. It was a little relief rally. And then we started going down again, but you can look at this trend line here and let's look at that like that. And we can see we've already kind of got, we're getting rejected from this point. So then I'm going to put this like that. And then we're going to go to a lower time frame, like a three day chart. And we have this support. We have this resistance. And right now we are getting kind of a reddish candle come in. If I go to the daily chart, we do see that we kind of wicked above here and now we're having that red come in. So it does look like if I go to the 12 hour chart, very like similar to this kind of relief that came in, but it's just a little bit bigger where we're heading down, heading down. We have like a little fake breakdown to a pop up. So heading down, heading down, fake breakdown to a pop up. So fake breakdown to a pop up, go sideways, go sideways last little kind of rally last kind of rally fake out and it's a sharp kind of move up then a sharp move back down sharp move up i believe we're going to open up monday of next week with a sharp move down and then continue to retest this line down here until ultimately there's going to be one point maybe with a catalyst or something where you're just going to see a meltdown absolute meltdown and maybe it'll come retest the 786 from this bigger move so this bottom to this top here and yeah that kind of that kind of does it right there so 94.478 and then if we kind of measure what would you look at that so if we were to just kind of fall down to this point break down that would bring us right to the the 786 there so that brings us to around april like april 1st we could get there yeah and then maybe april 1st we actually really start going down until june and then we have a short, low rebound up this could be the start of the massive downtrend in the dollar because i think we could see a scenario we come down to the 80s you know and if we see something like this into april and then a meltdown into june then we come up kind of get a little retest until over the summer until september and then we roll down for the end of the year into January of 2024, that kind of fulfills what we're talking about here as far as 2023 being a crazy year and us hitting points that nobody could have expected. That kind of goes with that thesis. And then maybe this brings us down to here, which is, dude, perfectly drawn. Oh my God. 786, 80.50. 
right? And then maybe we even go down further. Maybe this is the true. I mean, I, I wrote this idea on my training view here back in August, uh, 2022, it was right here. So boom for till 2029 and bust for asset prices, August 5th, 2022. And that's a scenario that I had panned out and it's starting to look more and more like it's going to happen. So that maybe, so 2020, and then it's like a, from 2024 to 2025, we come all the way down to here, maybe it's 2026. And then we bounce around 2027, 2028 and 2029, 2030 come down. And then we all kind of rally back up, something like that. And then if we pan all the way out, we can see how that would kind of coincide with this trend line on a bigger trend. Uh, I didn't draw it perfectly, but you, you kind of get the point what I'm saying here. And then now we're really panning out with the dollar, but you can see same similar patterns being drawn here. I can take that, I can drag it over, you know, same similar stuff. Sometimes it pans out um, sooner, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it's more exacerbated sometimes it's not but you, you get you get the point there but yeah so that's something that can definitely pan out and this being so where where we're currently at in 2022 2023 being so similar in the eyes to the industry about the dot com bubble we can take that right here and that kind of goes with a scenario right there you know with that time frame and everything else it kind of matches and maybe you could even stretch it out to be something like that. There we go. So that could be a scenario. We'll have to see, but we're going to be waiting a long time for that to happen. But we know the timeline, we know kind of the trends and the dollar kind of losing its dominance does seem like that's the overall agenda and the push. So that could definitely be a scenario. Bond yields kind of got slammed down right before the end of the trading week. We have this trend line coming up. I think we're we're getting to a phase where we're going to start to come down again. I do see kind of three tops here in the stock RSI, one, two, three. Same with the pink, one, two, three. And usually it'll pull down after that. If we go to the daily chart, we do see kind of something that I like to see as far as finding some relief after. And then it starts to curl over and then you come down. Also one, two, little three, come back down. So like one, two, three, come back down. So kind of similar, but I'm looking for this to get broken here. Let's bring it up like that. And it looks like kind of like a rising wedge. So like that, likely come down, retest here. Around like 3.55, 3.5 maybe. I would say somewhere close to 3.62. This horizontal line right here, which is it probably a key support now in the next level we're watching as far as support broke down resistance resistance got above then broke down resistance resistance got above i would think if we're going to come down here that would be the level to watch 3.6 so keep an eye on that but we definitely do want to get rejected at this point right here and we don't want to keep rising rapidly with the bond yields now let's go to the stock market stock market right now it hold it held these lows right here critical support level um, right there served as a rejection point support point if we're going out to the three-day chart i believe we're watching that with 200 ma and it seems like we just keep flirting with that area so we're trying to hold right there i definitely want to see the pink start to come up more blue come down and we do want to see a good day or good week next week as far as that goes let me go to the weekly chart yeah, we want to keep pushing up here. We want to get above the CMA ribbon and really start to see the mouths of these void lines open up to have a nice strong move up here and start making some higher highs, higher lows. So that's what we're watching there. Let's go to Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, I'm going to go on the daily chart. And we actually got rejected from the level I had mentioned in the market update, which was the 786. If I go to the four hour chart and put that back on the high to the low. 786 got a little rejected we did get a look at that the candle bodies close right at it so that's our critical level 24 833 we need to see body closes above right now we do have the momentum kind of dying off but we could see all of a sudden a little kind of burst of volume come back in some strength we can see on the 30 minute chart this cross up that cross up that cross up and then we can push past that 24,836, come back, hold the support. Then we can start targeting 26,5, 28,6. 
and then in the 30s. So we want to see that to be the case to see all the altcoins kind of pop up as well too. So yeah, and we're watching the six hour chart for Bitcoin and we said we need to hold this 50 line, the stock RSI. So far we have, it's it's not, it's not putting up a fight, that's for sure. I haven't seen this type of action with the stock RSI. You don't see it really that often, but there's definitely kind of like a tug of war going on right now where you don't want to see this cross down. That'll lead us back down to here. I'll break that 23,500 out, I'd assume on that. That'd be a lot of momentum to the downside. So we do want to see that hold and pop up and we can gauge it from the four hour. So we would want to see the four hours start to curl up here to avoid that six hour crossing down. Now let's go to XRP. Let's go to the daily chart. And I do feel a huge move coming from XRP pretty soon here, but not yet. I still got my longs in, but I just, you know, it always likes to do it last second, but we're getting close, definitely getting close. 12 hour crossing up one day as I prepare to buy soon. We're getting close to crossing there. Orange is through the 50 line TSI ready to cross zero lines right there. Very close to it. MACD as well. We have the 200 moving average sitting at 41, 41. So if we can get above 0 0.41, 0 0.41, hold that support. It's likely we're going to start making a big, big push and it could even take out these past highs over here and we could start talking about 80 cents. Do I think that's going to happen yet or anytime soon and then imminently? No, I don't. I think there's other coins that will outperform in the meantime, but I, I kind of know I'll know when it's time because you, you'll see in the discord, I'll be like red alert, red alert, convert everything because when XRP starts to go, you kind of when you're looking at it, you get the feeling like, oh, oh boy, here we go. So I'll be looking out for that. But right now it does not seem like it's ready for that yet. So we have other kind of pair to pairs in right now. We're playing it like that. XLM, same kind of boat as XRP. It's still not ready yet, although it does look a little better as far as strength and it might move first. But yeah, we came down to kind of do a little inverse head and shoulder here. So we got that shoulder, that head, that shoulder, we're rounding it out. I want to see us pop up here to around 11 cents and then hold that support and then us to push higher. So my computer is look, looking like it's getting a little slow here. So I'm going to end this video here. Join the Discord. I'll put the link in the bio. Don't forget, Monday, the gate's closing until further notice. So get yourself into the Stargate, get activated with it. And I will see you guys in the Discord and in the next video.